Hey guys, welcome to my studio. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my next project uh, I thought I'd share with you guys. It's called the Multiplex Microjet. It's pretty cool. Now these, this is a jet that is actually out of production, um, if I am correct. Um, it is a smaller version of the Funjet and the Ultra Funjet, I believe is what it's called. I could be wrong on that, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, now this is basically what it looks like. It's got a bottom skid here. Um, it has the nice hatch right here. Um, and by the way, this came, uh, the foam actually came blue. This is the multiplex uh, Elipor foam that, uh, that they're pretty famous for. Um, so I'm just going to take this apart and just kind of show you guys around. Get the fins off. So I'm not quite done painting this. I'm going to be doing some, some coat, other shinier uh, coatings on it and whatnot. But um, so this is basically what it looks like. It's uh, very, uh, it's quite a, a small airplane. Uh, but I've gotten some reports from some guys that have these. They say they're extremely fun and really just a, fl a blast to fly. So Now um, this airplane, um, it shows its age here by this brushed motor and this really crazy looking prop. Isn't that funny? Uh, by today's standards, these props just wouldn't, uh, they look like a toy prop basically. I might use this on like a fan boat or something like that. Uh, but um, I'm going to be using a 30 amp ESC from RC Manchild, and uh, this is a Hobby King brushless in runner motor. And basically, so this is a the size is a 2838, and the KV is a 2810. And this is a 6 by 5.5 inch prop. Now, uh, one of the biggest challenges of this build for me is going to be mounting the motor properly. Now, the way they have it in the instructions is they actually have you secure this with zip ties and it becomes a problem because this is a little bit of a hump right here and the way I'm gonna get around this is that, um, I am in the dental industry so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a dental impression of, of this right here you can see I cut out some notches for those zip ties to go through so that it has more of a rounded look now if I didn't do that those zip ties would actually take this foam and just crush it down and start to tear it and then if you take any impacts or anything it would just rip this whole back section off so I'm going to get that uh, mold, I'm going to make a, a vacuum form and, and uh, allow these uh, zip ties to come through a little bit more smoothly. So that's basically it. Um, it looks like a really fun project. Um, you guys can kind of follow me along with the build. Um, and that's basically it. So thank you guys again for uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, I hope you guys like this build. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.